Hey everyone, in this video we will be taking some 5 to 6 questions on decimal fractions. So let's start off with the first question. What decimal of an R is a second? The basic meaning of this question is that it is asking you how many R's are there in a second or in other words if I say you have to write one second in terms of R's. So one second is how many hours? That's what is asked in the question. So let's first convert hours to second. So we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So naturally 60 minutes would be 60 times 60 seconds. Therefore one hour is equal to 3600 seconds and we want how much hours is equal to one second. So we have this comparison. We can cross multiply. So one is equal to 3600x. Here x is the number of hours present in one second. So x equals to 1 by 3600. So you have to solve this fraction to get a decimal fraction. So if you solve this, you get the answer as 0 0.00027. I'm not going to solve this to save time. You can do that. But the answer that would come is 0 0.00027. And this is the right answer. Let's solve question number two. What is the value of k in this expression? Well, we have been given 3.514 into 10 raised to k is equal to 0 0.003514. Well, we have to convert this right hand side into an equivalent left hand side. So we can, you know, write 0 0.003514 to 3.514 into. We have shifted the decimal point to the right, and the number of places we have shifted is 1, 2, and 3. So we have shifted the decimal point to three decimal places to the right and because we have shifted it to the right we would have to divide it by the equivalent power of 10 and that equivalent power of 10 would come out as 10 raised to minus 3 or if it is becoming difficult you can write this as 3.514 divided by 1000 and if you solve this it would come out as 0 0.003514 and you can write this as 3.514 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. If you take this 1000 above the division sign, it becomes 10 raised to the power minus 3. And we have 3.514 into 10 raised to the power k. Rest of the terms are same. And we can directly infer from this expression that the value of k is minus 3. So the answer is minus 3. What's the value of 0 point recurring 09 multiplied by 7 point recurring 3? Well, you cannot directly perform operations between recurring decimal fractions and it becomes very difficult. So what you can do is to convert these recurring decimal fractions into simple fractions and then perform operations amongst those simple fractions. So we have 0 0.09 in which 0 09 is recurring multiplied by 7.3 in which 3 is recurring. Now we have to convert each of these fractions into simple fractions. Well the number of recurring digits after the decimal point is 2 in this term. So the, so the denominator is 99 nine because we have two digits after the decimal points which are recurring and in the numerator we write the number without the decimal point as it is. So we have 9 times we cannot directly convert this we have to write it as 0 0.73 in which 3 is recurring times 10 so the value of this and this is same now we can convert this into simple fraction here number of recurring digits is 1 and the number of non recurring digits is 1 so let's write this 9 by 99 is as it is. The number of recurring digits is 1. So in the denominator I have 1 9. 
the number of non recurring digit is 1 so I have 1 0 in the denominator now I will write the number as it is in the numerator so that is 73 minus I have to subtract the non recurring digit minus 7 times 10 is as it is you know you can cancel out terms here so 0 0 gets cancelled out this 9 and this 9 gets cancelled out so I have 1 by 99 into 73 minus 7 is 66 so I have 66 by 99 now you have to convert this into equivalent decimal numbers and um, you can directly do that if you look at the denominator it's 99 it means that in the numerator there there are two digits after the decimal point which are recurring and those two digits are uh, written in the numerator and the numerator is 66 so I have 0 0.66 in which 66 is recurring this is nothing but 0 0.6 recurring therefore the answer is option D now if you solve this 0 0.66 if you convert this into a simple fraction this would come out as 66 by 99 okay guys let's solve this question and find out the answer so we we have been given 52416 when divided by 312 we get 168 so 52416 divided by 312 is equal to 168 now what will be the value of 52416 divided by 0 0.0168 now what we have been given we can modify that we can write this thing as 52416 divided by 168 comes down so we have 168 and this 312 come goes up so 312 and it doesn't change anything now let's name this equation 1 now we have to find out 52.416 divided by 0 0.0168 and this is equivalent to if I put a 0 here in the numerator the digits after the decimal point in the numerator and the denominator become the same so I can directly remove the decimal point so this becomes 524160 by 168 and this is similar to our equation 1 now again this can be written as 52416 by 168 times 10 and which is we know the value of this is 312 312 so this is 312 into 10 which is equal to 3120 so option C is our answer well this last question is a bit of a tricky one let's find out its answer so we have been given 1.2x is equal to 0.03y so let's write that 1.2x is equal to 0.03y so I can write x by y is equal to 0 0.03 by 1.2 0 the numbers of digits after the decimal point in numerator and denominator are same so I can ignore the decimal point so this becomes 3 by 120 which is 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 12 so x by y is equal to 1 by 40 this we have found out now we have been asked what is x minus y upon x plus y and this expression does not contain anything similar to this x by y so we can convert terms into that into something similar to x by y so if you observe carefully and um, if we divide the numerator and the denominator by y we can get terms similar to x by y so x minus y divided by y upon x plus y divided by y and that doesn't change the value because we have divided the numerator and denominator with the same value and this is x minus y divided by y which it can be x by y minus y by y divided by y is 1 so minus 1 divided by again x divided by y plus y divided by y is 1 and we know the value of x by y so which is 1 by 40 minus 1 
divided by 1 by 40 plus 1. Again, this is equal to 1 minus 40 by 40 upon 1 plus 40 by 40. Simple cross multiplication. 40 and 40 gets cancelled out. This is equal to 1 minus 40 is minus 39 divided by 1 plus 40 is 41. And I think we have found out our answer. Minus 39 by 41. And this is the right answer.